Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, our Advent season has begun, a time for us to look inward and uh, embrace the holiness which God gives us, turning away from sin and living the gospel. And so as we begin our celebration this day, let us be mindful of our sinfulness and now ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by heresy shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and uh, the young lion shall browse together, with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the other's leg. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations the gentiles shall seek out for his dwelling shall be glorious the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god. god your response be justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, in fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the noon Till the moon be no more, may he rule from the sea to sea, 
and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. He lives of the, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in, prophet, he, in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desire to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So as I say, brothers and sisters, we begin this season of Advent and the first thing we'll notice is the change in the tone and the message of the scriptures. Um, the first task for all of us in terms of conversion is embracing Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And so the scriptures are going to tell us how Jesus is the fulfillment of the prophets, that he is the long-awaited Messiah, and that he is the one that can bring salvation to our lives. So we begin with the great prophet Isaiah in our first reading today, and we see how Jesus will be the fulfillment of those passages, the one who will come bringing peace and justice, and it's filled with beautiful images, a world in conflict, even nature which is in conflict with itself will all find peace. And that will all come through Jesus. Some of these images are pretty powerful. Uh, creatures that are natural enemies of each other will find themselves playing alongside each other and even human beings. The baby shall play by the cobra's den. Although I'm not so sure that those are enemies. Father Joy was telling me a story the other day about how uh, there are sometimes cobras in India will protect the little children and that was fascinating to me but um, in the, the uh, course of things, what we're saying is that, as we've heard in the passages leading up to Advent, there will be a new earth, a new creation, a new way of things. And in our gospel today, Jesus is being very clear. First of all, he's rejoicing in the spirit, it says. So he is realizing himself how he is changing, transforming the world, how he is changing lives. And he is giving thanks to the Father because this is happening. And he says that 
the things that were being revealed are revealed to the childlike those with a simplicity of faith a focus on jesus on the 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 savior and the messiah that the the learned ones the people who had you know spent all their life studying things they were the ones who were missing the point jesus came amongst the poor and was preaching to everyone he didn't come just to the knowledgeable and the wealthy and the powerful and the famous and they were embracing him because they understood what he meant for humanity and then he even tells his disciples the ones who were closest to him in private he says blessed are you to see what you see because people have longed from the beginning of time until now to see it and you are now privy to that uh, reality the savior is here in your midst the one you had been waiting for for all that those long long centuries now it's all coming to fulfillment and you are a living part of it i can only imagine how wonderful that announcement was to those disciples imagine if it were all happening uh, in our midst today if we were embracing uh, our messiah as he comes into the world and we should be that's the whole point of advent we should be embracing jesus because the things that he did continue now through us and we can see that in our church uh, in in our parish in our community hopefully if we live the gospel that jesus is going to proclaim to us we will recognize him as our lord and savior and then in the same way uh, recognize our blessedness his presence in our lives so let us turn now to our heavenly father with our prayers of petition this day <clears throat> we now bring our needs to our loving father with confidence and trust For Pope Francis, may the Lord look graciously upon his every need and continue to prosper him in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders and local representatives, may the Spirit of the Lord will lead them in their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly and homebound, May the Lord fill them with his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith in faith community, may Jesus strengthen us in building God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the light of faith, may they soon be welcomed home by our loving God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray also for the departed soul of Abraham Chemalakuri. May his sins be forgiven, be accepted in the kingdom of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also bring all our personal intentions before the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, giver of every perfect gift, we ask that you would hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it right, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise to which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bringing her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Let with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Let us pray now also, in inviting Mary into our lives. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.